Hey, this is Tim James hanging out this week on Meet Your Kings and Queens. This week I'm hanging out with... Hey, it's Matt Johnson, uh, Kings basketball, first year guard. All right, Matt. Well, Kings basketball season's underway. NBA is also just getting started. So which NBA star are you most like? Most like? I would have to say that my game would be most like probably Chris Paul because I like to take it to the basket and stuff like that. But still working on the jump shot and stuff. I got to get it to where his level's at. Do you own a Chris Paul jersey? I do not own a Chris Paul jersey. No, favorite player is Kobe Bryant, so I own I own more than one Kobe jersey. So that's that's why. You think Kobe Bryant's ever one day gonna own a jersey of yours? Ooh, I wish that'd be sick. Kobe had one of my jerseys. Goals, no worries. Uh, if you were to play a game of horse, you know the game horse, right? Oh yeah. What's your go-to trick shot that no one else can hit? The go-to trick shot is a uh, pass behind the back. Just throw it behind my back and just off the backboard into the hoop. Gets it every time. Every time. Every time. 100%. That's the go-to move right there. Absolutely. In November, uh, are you taking part? Yeah, our whole team is going to take part in November, even though like mine will just be a nice blonde like little fuzz at the top. But, hey, I'm still going to do it. And then towards the end of the month, though, I'm going to dye it, so it's going to be nice and black. It's going to be so funny by the end of the month. Does that count as cheating? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it definitely does count as cheating, but it'll be funny. It's just for the fun of it, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Good cause for prostate cancer as well. So let's say there were no basketball games this weekend, no practices. What would you do with your spare time here in Red Deer? Here in Red Deer, well, we usually just go out and hang around Reds and stuff at nights and stuff because that's basically, it's smaller town, right? So everyone just stays tight together and then basically res and hate to say it but lotus is kind of the place to hang out around here so that's about it well you're from calgary so let's say you were down in calgary for the weekend where would you take your friends what would you do take my friends downtown for sure 17th ave and then commonwealth you hit up like all those like fun spots to hang out and stuff with your friends it's the best you're pretty good at fist pumping fist pumping it could use a little work my fist pumping game but i can gel the hair like a guido so i can get that going Awesome. Final three questions for you. Just remember, there are no wrong answers, okay? Have you ever dived to get a foul called? Yes, for sure. You know when you're just really tired and stuff and you just need that second arrest? That's when you take the dive for the foul. Easy. Fair game. You're telling, the, you're telling the truth. If RDC was to do a Dancing with the Stars and you took part, which RDC Queens athlete or Kings would you want to be your partner? Ooh. Queens or Kings. Well, I definitely wouldn't pick a king, but queen, I'd take pretty much anybody on the girls' volleyball team. Easy. Yeah. You have a favorite? I have a favorite. I don't have a favorite right now because I don't just moved here, right? Just met him and stuff, so no favorites yet. But All right, all right. Still got to meet him. One yeah. final question for you. Obviously, it is Movember, as we mentioned. So who on your team is most follically challenged and couldn't grow a mustache even if they tried? Even if they tried, I would have to say, um, hold on thinking i'm gonna say i'm gonna say lloyd because he doesn't look like he has a lot of going on up there so he's gonna do the worst on the team i think so I, i'm gonna say that i'm gonna call him out hopefully he at least raises the most money I'm, I'm gonna hope for him but so once again uh, i'm hanging out with matt matt thank you so much for joining me this week yeah thank you and this was tim james on meet your kings and queens